Hi folks, thanks for joining me today. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you a first look at the FNF Talon Vice. And what better way to do that than to show you a fly being tied on it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to tie a simple damsel pattern for you today. The hook in the vise is a Hanak H230 barbless hook. This one's at size 8. It's on a medium wire and it's in black nickel. And the thread I'm going to be using today is the Vivas. It's the F01 at 60 and it's black. And I've just managed to wrap it around my bobbin there. So first thing I want to do is get a little bit of wax on. And primarily... The reason I'm doing this video actually is I posted some photographs of the new vice. It was a Christmas present from my good lady. I'm very appreciative of that. And uh, loads of people have said, do, do a review, do a review. I, I can't really do a review because I, I think for fairness, to get a real idea to do a review, you've got to have used it for two or three months. I think time's a great, a great teller. But what I thought I'd do is give you a little insight, if you like, into what I think so far. Now, I've managed to put about 50 or 60 flies through it now, and uh, it's been quite an impressive thing. So just while I'm tying this fly, I'm going to go through some of the features of the vise. I'm going to get a bit of thread down. I'm going to come all the way back up to just before, about an eighth of an inch actually, before the uh, the eye of the hook. And I'm going to add some eyes. So as I'm tying the fly, there'll be a bit of time to talk about the vice. So a lot of people really liked um, the other vice I had, which was a Jan Tavik. Harmonic is the one I've been using the late because I'm tying from home. I have another Jan Tavik at work that I use all the time, which I've been so impressed with over the years. I've used it for about 10 years, the Jan Tavik, but what it didn't do was hold bigger hooks particularly well, i.e. for like pike flies and saltwater flies, which is something I'd like to get into. And it didn't hold the tube fly adapters at all, which was uh, a bit of a pain, so... That was the reason that I, I wanted a new vise. Next, I'm just going to add the eyes. I'm using some uh, about 30, 35 pound mono this is. And I want to take approximately a centimetre and a half of the mono. And what I want to do is capture it in my tweezers like so. And I want to melt the ends with a lighter. Let's hope the fire alarms don't go off. And you just got to give that a little minute to dry before you uh, take it out or you get burny, burny fingers and your eyes are suddenly stuck to your thumb. So give it a second. And then what I like to do with this is just hold it on side on, a couple of turns. Then you can move it on top of the shank, move it about to where you want it. That's about right. And then in a figure of eight motion, you can lock that down. Now what I always try and do is get them at this point, before I get too many wraps on there, get them nice and even like so once I'm happy that is lashed into place I can then bring my thread all the way back and I'm going to add my little bump because I'm going to have a very long marabou tail on this fly. And the bump just stops the tail wrapping around the inside of the gape. So I'll stop there. And before I go on, I'm going to add a little bit of super glue. 
to the top and the bottom of the fly just at the eyes and it just secures that all in place and so while we're waiting for the glue to dry there then let me just uh, read what F and F say about the vice the F and F talon has been engineered and built using nuclear grade materials and design software to create this precision vice nuclear grade materials I hope I don't start glowing in the dark the talon vice is mounted on a two kilo base with built-in pockets to store tools beside the shaft the base plate also has a recess to ensure beads don't roll off, which is quite a handy feature. The Talon vise has a stainless steel shaft and extension bar, and I've used the, the extension bar, I like the vise quite high, and uh, that's been really good to get it to the most desirable time position for you. This rotary vise turns on a two-bearing system housed in the body of the vise, ensuring an extremely smooth an adjustable rotation and I'll show you the rotation uh, as we finish off the fly. The vice jaws have been heavily influenced by the law of vice. Now when I first got the vice I obviously took a few photographs, posted it on social media and you know inevitably lots of people said oh it's just a law copy and I d you know it's very difficult to discern how people are putting that comment but I got the impression that people were being detrimental towards that. I mean, law is, is quite a famous vice. If you've been in the fly fishing game long, you'll have heard of the law vice. And uh, to copy something that's probably the ultimate fly tying vice, uh, I think is a really good idea. I mean, if it's not broken, why fix it? So I think it's a good thing that it's based heavily on the law. I believe Davy McPhail was involved in the... Uh, in the design of this vice so you know there's a boy that can tie a fly or two so i think it's a good thing that it's based on the law the very very similar looking vice i've never owned the law i never will because i just don't have a spare 2k in my hipper to buy a law vice and even if i did i'm not sure i could justify that i mean i could go to cuba and have a bone fishing holiday for that kind of money how much does it cost then well it's it's a pound off uh, 500 499 pounds now that's a lot of money but and it's not aimed at the the guy just getting into fly tying this is aimed at somebody that's doing a lot of tying i would think and uh, i do a lot of tying so i think i'm going to get my money's worth out of this well i need to buy another vice in my lifetime uh, no, I certainly won't need to. Will I? Well, who knows? You, you never know. Uh, I do like nice shiny stuff. So. so the hook's held into place by these extremely strong jaws. And I say extremely strong because uh, you can clamp really hard down on them with the fly wheel that um, tightens up. There's two grooves within the jaws for uh, sort of medium-sized hooks and big predator hooks that that fit in slots and for the smaller hooks the jaws clamp down with enough tension as to hold them well into place now there is a little ring just at the end here and I'm just going to loosen that up and when you loosen it up you get a very smooth rotary action with the vise it turns no problem at all and you can tension that to meet your own needs so if you don't want it flying round it just uh, tensions up really nicely so you get it just the way you want it. I've, uh, I've had rotary vices, obviously, but I've never had anything as good as this. It's, it's uh, fantastic. Now, the next thing then is the extension bar fits together. And what I like was at the, the, the base where it houses the extension bar, it's, it can be secured by an Allen key. So you can, you can be as strong as you like. I'm not particularly strong, but... Uh, I find that the shaft always moves in in the housing, but what there is with this is an Allen key that tightens it down as tight as you like, really, which holds it into place very firmly. The base itself is two kilograms, so it's gone going nowhere. You know, once once you've got that in place, it sits steady on your bench and it's not going anywhere. There's a recess in the middle, and that stops any tungsten beads or anything rolling off or any materials that you've got at the ready. Back to your fly then. So next I'm going to add in my marabou tail and I'm using some olivesque. Again it's a comp candy product and I'm going to take a fairly good thumb size 
and pull that to the side. Just cut off my waist off camera. I'll bring my thread up to the top where my eyes are and then just tidy it all up. Keeping it on top of the shank of the hook. Like so. And the tail's a wee bit long, so I'm going to come in with my thumb and forefinger in my right hand and pull that away. Okay, that's looking okay. Damping down the marabou just makes it a wee bit easier to work with. I'm going to add a gold rib to this fly. This is the fish on one. It's uh, 0.14 and I've already got a little bit off here that I can catch on. Now I'm not taking as much care with the fly because uh, it's all about the vice, this video. So this is just to show you really how, how to utilize the vise. Now, the body material, I'm using some trout stalkers. This is opossum and it's the, the, bra the barn, the barn olive, I think he's called it, but I can't quite make out the handwriting. You need to tidy up your handwriting, Andrew. So I've got some here, it's a lovely stuff, nice fine dubbing. And what I want to do is just get some dubbing onto my thread. I'll keep that in my hands just in case I'm going to need some more. And then bring that up to the front like so. And that worked out just perfect actually. I'm going to add a hackle to this fly and the reason I'm going to add the hackle is to show you the full rotary action. So I'm using this uh, Dun Cape and I've already selected a feather from it. Uh, I like to use a, an olive cape or a green cape but I just don't have one as yet. I will pick one up soon. So I've stripped the feather back to the core. I'll capture that on. And just make sure I've got it down in place. Break break the back of the, the spine and then with your hackle pliers just grab the end. So the rotary function is really good. So I'm just going to loosen the vise up, loosen the knob should I say. And so now I've got I'm able to turn it and it's not something I do a lot of because I've not had the facility really but when you've got full rotary you can then start doing things like this and uh, I intend to start using it a lot more now that I have it so bring it to meet meet your wire I'll just tighten up slightly like so, and the first turn is going to come right around the fly. Try and work your way through the fibres, you don't want to trap all them fibres in. And then just work your way up the body to trap in your palmer. You're going to inevitably catch fibres in you know, don't lose any sleep over it. I certainly don't, and I don't think the fish mind either. So I've brought the wire under my eyes, and I'm just going to catch that on. And then a couple of turns in front, I can then take away my wire rib. It's taken a while. <laughs> Next, I'll come in with my snips and just remove the end of my feather and that's looking pretty good. Now before I go on, I'm going to slip everything back, bring my thread back behind the eye. just to capture 
a few of them fibers to get them back out of the way because next I'm going to use some more of my opossum and I'm going to build my head so you're getting a bit of a two for this week uh, a fly and a little first look at the uh, the talon now I know um, the talon's currently out of stock there was an initial run made of 50 and they all went I think within a week so it's obviously proving quite popular uh, there's more in production now but I think there is already a waiting list which uh, is been, you know it's remarkable for a new vice on the market to have gathered such a following already uh, is, is amazing so well done to Kevin he's obviously brought something to the market that people want and I've been very pleased with it thus far now as I said at the start uh, this isn't a review it's a first look because time's the great tester you know you've just got to look at tyres like Davy McPhail or Barry or Clark they're using vices that they've used for decades uh, with good reason um, because they found a vice that's obviously suits them and I'm hoping that the Talon is going to be that vice for me I won't have to be tempted away because this will do everything I need it to do so there's a little damsel fly which will uh, do your still water box proud and that's a first look at the FNF fly tying vice thanks for watching I hope it's been of some use and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please think about clicking that button. I'd really appreciate your support.